Hey guys, welcome back to yet another video, and today we're going to take a look at the two new subwoofers I added to my Toyota Tacoma. Just a quick overview of the system, we have the Kicker Comp RT 8 inch subwoofers in here with the passive radiator, and this is a custom box made by Kicker. You might remember these from my Ridgeline, and I just took these because they were fantastic there, but they were way underpowered, 300 watts. Now, I have them hooked up to an 850 watt amp, which is also controlling all of the door speakers, which is plenty of power for the system. I have not changed the door speakers out yet, it's still factory door speakers, but they are much, much louder, and I don't run the system wide open whatsoever. I mean, at about 25 on the volume knob, that's plenty for me. As far as the gain on these subwoofers with the gain knob, I keep it about quarter turn. That is perfect for my style. You will have to remove the plastic panels along the back, that's just part of it. However, I never use them anyway, and whenever you don't want anybody to see them, they won't. They fit perfectly behind the seat. It's like nothing has been changed except the gain knob on the front of the vehicle, which I'll show you in a second, only changed the truck. I should mention the amp is an arc amp, just to clarify, but here's the gain knob on it. It's very secluded down here at the bottom. It doesn't stand out whatsoever, and it's super and cleanly installed. And most people will use this little bank right here where you keep changing stuff, but I have my LED bars and all that right there. So I went ahead, went with the option down here, and like you see, it's not even turn. I mean, that's all the way down. That's about where it's at. And that's fully up. So a little over a quarter of the way, and that's just perfect. So here we go. We got the base knob turned down a little bit between a quarter and a half way. Nothing too crazy. The volume should be set up. I am super happy with this system. I don't have the gain turned up at all hardly, but just between a quarter and a half. I was only up to 25 on the stereo on the head unit, and I got to retain my factory head unit, which is amazing, because Toyota, you did a really good job on that, I have to say. Uh, it just it just thumps, that's all there is to it. It thumps really, really hard, for personally for me, especially with just eight inch kickers. I'm not blowing 12 inches or anything. And I already had the subwoofers in stock, so just for the amplifier and hooking up all the door speakers, it only cost me $600, which, when you think about it, that's really well priced. But this system has a lot to offer, and if you're thinking about doing something like this, I would definitely recommend it. And especially with the Kicker Comp RTs, because you don't have to get a box made or anything like that. You buy them, you throw them in, you throw an amp in, and you're golden. All you gotta do is take these plastic bins out. I hope you enjoyed this video on the newest setup in the Tacoma as well as the newest update and maybe give you an idea on what these Kicker Comp RTs really are possible of doing. You don't need a massive sub in a truck like this. You don't have to take up your entire back seat. You can get really good performance from these thin subs. We've come a long way in the technology and it's here. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to share, like, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.